how those systems talk to each other at a high level. And then probably we'll want to circle back on some nuances or specifics a little bit later. Yeah. So Zendesk is the central hub. That's where the support engineers live and breathe. That's where all the communication essentially happens. So the whole mission here is to get as much information into Zendesk so we can kind of create workflows and operationalize operationalize it there. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, and then from there, kind of let support engineers respond to the tickets. So one source of information is Salesforce. That's where ARR, support packages, plan information, all that good stuff lives. So we sync that to Zendesk using census. Um, we also have our own data store of customer information that is stored in our BigQuery instance. And we also use census to get that into Zendesk. So things that you'll see pulling from these two areas are ARR, account team. So who's the AM account manager, who's the customer success manager on the team. Um, and then from our own database, we pull the plan, the packages they might have, because we offer a few add-on packages that customers can add on. And that's kind of how we're using Zendesk as well as Salesforce and, um, and our own BigQuery table. Now, another source of information is um, Notion and the tickets that we view as noteworthy, we send to Notion and we add them in a table and our product managers review those for product gaps or product deficiencies to kind of operationalize off of that. And then the last one I would say is, is Jira, which is where our bugs are tracked. And we have a connector uh, that's bi-directional between Zendesk and Jira. So you can link tickets to bugs in Jira. And then when the bugs are updated, it posts an internal note back to Zendesk, letting you know that, hey, there's an update to this bug, let the customer know essentially.